Warning, the following video has not been approved by the Comic Code Authority, and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Comic Assassin, and I am coming off one of the longest hiatuses that I've done since I've been doing this show. Apparently last week I celebrated my one year anniversary for doing these shows and I even forgot about it, <laughs> right? Just been super, super busy, a lot, lot of stuff's going on. I'm sure you all can relate. But uh, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. And we're starting to kind of get back into the, the normal, I guess if you want to call it that. Uh, the books are starting to come back in. Even though there's still a lot of stuff that's been going on with this whole DC changing their distributor. And it's getting a little bit more confusing. So I think either next week, and I'm not sure the exact day, but like it's either like next week is when they're completely done with Diamond and they're going with this new distributor. But what I did not know is that this also means that they're going to be giving books that can be sold on Tuesday rather than Wednesday, what we, what we normally know as new comic book day. And that, that raises up a good, interesting question. Is that smart? Right? For, for, for you, the collector, like me, I do DC, I do indie, I do Marvel. And, you know, I can't go to the comic book shop every day, even though I would love to, right? Am I going to go to a comic book shop on Tuesday and then on Wednesday to try to get my books? Probably not, right? I'm probably going to still wait to get, go on Wednesday to get whatever I want. So yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, I'm sure that the local comic book shops, they can still wait until releasing stuff on Wednesday, even though they might have them and be able to sell them on Tuesday. So that was a little bit of new information I found out today that I found pretty interesting, and let's just see how it all plays out. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people who love this decision. There's a lot of people who don't like this decision. I was talking to a lot of people um, at my LCS, a lot of people thought, you know, hey, it was good. You know, we're kind of breaking up this monopoly. <clears throat> and then you had um, Eric Stevenson, who's the publisher, uh, publisher in chief over at Image, who wrote this pretty, as an educating letter, uh, basically calling DC a bunch of hasty sociopaths, right? Because basically he says, you know, the history of pe of industry people doing this, like how Marvel did it, you know, back in the '90s and it failed. And anyway. Very interesting, but I don't really want to get into that. Just a little bit of news. I'm going to show you what books I picked up this week, as well as opening up a BAM box. Alright, so what did I get this week? Alright, let's start with the... Let me start with my dollar books. This is the first time I've been able to go flip through dollar bins in a minute. And they're totally not in order. And I came across a run that I just could not resist because who does not like Lobo? Right, so I got Lobo. This is Lobo Goes to Hollywood, number one. Got that. And then I got a full run of Lobo, A Contract on God. So there's number one. Number two. Number three and number four. You know, it's like I said, I love Lobo, and I, you know, I just love it when I can find a whole straight mini series or a, a good section of a run in the dollar bins. I like to jump on them. Uh, as far as the new books go, how to get this? This is the variant that I went with, the Joker Eighth Anniversary Special. Didn't like the price tag, but hey, what are you going to do about it? That's the one that I went with. It's got the punchline origin story and all that. Um, got some Mountain Head number four. I've been digging this read. Deadpool number five. This is actually from last week. and My LCS was sold out of it, but they managed to get me a copy of it. And that's Reaver number eight. So that didn't come out this week, that came out last week, but it was in my box. Um, Old Haunts, number one. 
There's a little bit of buzz about this book. And then, of course, Batman 92. This is the one that I think most people are rushing out to get, besides that Legion of Superheroes, which my LCS did not have, at least though they were sold out, even though I was there when it opened. Um, but yeah, Batman 92. So yeah, we're getting back into the swing of things. I I'm digging it. Um, I will say, though, and I think I said it the last time I did a video, the one good thing about this pandemic for me is that I've been able to catch up on so much reading. I've been getting caught up on the Venom run, the Batman run, um, some Deadpool stuff. I mean, I've been able to get a lot of reading done, which I certainly, certainly have appreciated. All right, now on to the BAM Pop Culture. Now, believe it or not, this is the April box. And um, they were super, super late. And they, you know, they came out and they, they're, they're good with their customer service. They notified everybody saying, hey, we're, we're late. You know, stuff stuck in a warehouse in California. We don't know why. But they also said, you know, due to the lateness, we're going to throw something extra in there for you, like a piece of fan art. And the franchises, if I'm not mistaken, were um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, DC, and what was it, Nintendo, right? That had me sold. Those are all three franchises I love. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and see what we got. Okay. So, of course, paper out. And right off the top, I'm seeing something that I like a lot. I like this a lot. This is a City of Gotham Police Department badge. And it's heavy duty, man. That, that seems like real metal. It's got a little, a little lanyard. Um, it's either real leather or at least faux leather. But yeah, I really, really like that. Now, this makes me wonder, though, is this the DC prop? Because then last time, last time they were supposed to have a Batman franchise in the last box and they didn't have it. So I'm wondering if this is a makeup for their screw-up for last month or if this is the DC prop. We'll have to wait and see. But um, I really, really dig this. I might take that out later and show you all. All right. Um, this is the pin. I'll let you see it first. All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm assuming this is my Nintendo franchise. This is, um, golly, what was that purple thing you used to bounce around? Kirby, Kirby, right? So here we got, we got Kirby pin. That's cool. Uh, um, Oh, it says that I have a, it's a limited release of 250, so apparently I got a one up. So, I mean, that's cool. I mean, I, I liked Kirby, but it wasn't my favorite um, Nintendo game. So, yeah, it'd, it'd been cooler to get a different franchise, but overall, I'm just glad they went with Nintendo. I, I can't, can't complain with that. All right, what else do we have? All right, so I'm feeling nothing else but flat stuff. So here's the commemorative card. So if you remember last time I did the, a box, they actually forgot my card. I don't have it on me, but it ended up being Batman throwing a punch. And this is the card that connects with it. And it's Joker about to, to get the punch right there. So apparently what they're doing with these collective cards, and I'm glad they're doing this versus what I thought they were originally doing. Because the first one I got was Darth Vader. And the other one was like a Luke Skywalker. And so I figured, okay, they're going to be doing a whole set of these collective cards. They're nothing but Star Wars. Star Wars isn't my, my jam. All right? I'm not hating on it. It's just not my jam. But what they're doing, it looks like they're doing a, a heroes, villain type collector set. So we had the Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Batman, now Joker. Um, I did get my level up. So that was. I'm assuming that was the pin. Because that is a level up. It's out of 250. I uh, got my scratch card. Going to be doing that later. And so now we have prints. Alright, let's do the first one. And that is boom. 
Oh, it's upside down. I'm sorry. And I'm <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing. Um, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Basically, it seems like a, uh, it's a hybrid between Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Charlie Brown. So that that's pretty funny. Um, it's a lot different than what Bame has normally done. Um, but I dig it. I mean... Yeah, that, that's funny. That's funny. Alright, the next one is... I don't know, is it upside down or not? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> this is interesting. Um, I'm assuming this is supposed to be Deadpool. His head on a stake. Don't really understand what the these bubbles are. Is it supposed to be like an ice cream pop that's melting? Um, I'm not really sure about that. Y'all know me. I'm a huge... I love Deadpool. I got Deadpool stuff on my wall. Y'all see me wearing the Deadpool stuff all the time. This is probably one that's not going to go on my wall. Um, now, some people might like it. And hey, that's fine. It's just not for me. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm assuming this is the extra fan art that they threw in there. And, yeah, this, this just doesn't do it for me. Um, at all. And it doesn't even say who, I mean, it might be behind there, but it's numbered out of a thousand, so it's a limited print, but it's just not a limited print that I want. So, yeah, I'm a little bummed about that, but, you know, it was a freebie because they were late. Alright, and so here's the, I'm assuming this is going to be the autograph then, because that's the one thing that we haven't had. Oh, okay. This is the autograph. And, um, okay. So this is from the show Arrow. Now, I'm only, let's see, it says on the back, it does not say who signed it on the back. And that's what I hate about prints that have multiple people on them. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just go on a limb that it's him that signed it. And let's see the characters. I believe this is from Arrow. Is that is that Ragman? I believe that's Ragman. And I don't know what the, the actor's name, but um, hey, I mean that's cool. So I'm assuming that this is the DC prop or the DC franchise, and this was the from last time that they forgot to put in. So, you know, overall, Nintendo pin, pretty cool, especially if you're a Kirby fan, it's cool. This, as much as I would, yeah, I'm not going to say much more about that. This one was, this one was kind of cool. I like how they were creative with this print, doing kind of a mishmash between two different franchises, um, but still, at the same time, as creative as that is, I can see that if you're being sold, like if, if, if something's advertised to you as being Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I, I can see a lot of people being somewhat disappointed with this. Me, I'm cool with it, but I can see people being disappointed, right? Just because, you know, they might not like Charlie Brown, and so you only give them one half of something they like. But I thought it was creative. I applaud that. Uh, this is the DC franchise once again. I'm, a, I'm assuming Ragman, whoever played him, that's cool. But to me, the winner was what I believe was supposed to be in last month's box was the badge. Let me go ahead and open this up just to show you guys. Oh, does it open up too? Oh, oh I like this. Not only is it a badge that you can wear, you can stick, you use it as a pin. It's got a place you can do a pin, so you can, you know, put it in your pocket, pin it up. Got a little clasp right there. And that's, I mean, it's seems like real enough metal. Um, yeah, I really, really, really dig that. 
That that to me is the, my favorite thing in the box. Um, with that being said, y'all, like I said, I still got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm trying to wrap up my PhD. I just kind of got a little of a message that I need to speed things up, and I know I need to speed things up, so that's what I've been doing a lot of the time. Plus, I got the kids in the house and can't really go out and do anything. So, <clears throat> you know, my apologies. Sorry, you missed my one year, my own one year anniversary of being with you guys. But everybody who's been here with me along the way, thank you so much. Hope, hope you, that you continue to do so. Um, it's been strange. It's been strange. I've been spending so much more time at home. And this is like the less time I've been able to spend on YouTube, <laughs> whether it be making videos or even watching videos. So it's just been it's just been a nutty time, y'all. And uh, with that being said, hope all of y'all have a blessed week, and I will see y'all hopefully sometime very very soon. Peace out, guys.